The COVID experience was really interesting um, with the people that we supported. Some bits was emotional because, you know, it was difficult to expect it wasn't COVID and then all of a sudden it's just like chaos. We, as, as a, you know, carers, anticipated a lot more issues with people, particularly people with autism whose routines were completely changed overnight. You know, lockdown happened, they weren't going to their the stuff they would normally do during the day. Um, they're all indoors. I sort of got myself angry and I didn't know what, what was going on with me. I couldn't sleep at night. I couldn't even think why COVID's hit most of the communities now and all the care homes had closed. Worst thing about it is having to isolate, obviously, because I, I do it going out. Very hard. Yeah, very difficult. Very difficult because we were in, in, in our flat all the time and we couldn't see anyone at all, not our families, not our friends. Until we kept contact with our families by phone. And actually the resilience of those people was absolutely phenomenal. Um, we found, you know, people just got on with it, they coped with it um, really well. We did a lot of work with people, teaching them new skills. I learned quite a lot of skills, I think. Um, how to cope in daily situations. Um, and how to work on a computer, do Zooms, team meetings. And... I think one of the things that came up was um, we didn't have the news on 24-7. Um, we supported people to understand what was happening in a measured way rather than people being frightened of COVID. Yes, COVID was frightening, but we, we tried to make life as normal as possible. I do rugby and they used to do a fitness class on Zoom. So me and another housemate used to join in that. And we spent more time just being with people and having conversations with people. Playing like ball games and, and cooking and doing all different pieces. The communication was there. We did Teams meetings with people so that they could still see each other, as well as, you know, with relatives, but actually with people we support. So we do the New Directions meeting and me and Ian have known each other since the New Directions meeting. This is the first time he's actually seen me face to face today because he's only seen me on Zoom. I think it's like with all of us, we all experienced our own lockdown experience and I think all of us have taken from that, actually I'm going to continue with that. I'm going to continue to go for a walk every day. And I would like to make a channel on my um, chili den because of my buttons and chili ding stuff and I'm going to make a channel. We've taken some really good lessons um, and learnt an awful lot about the people we support, more than we would have done just rushing around, taking people here and there.